Boom. What is up, Wanderers? We are back with another One Take Bag Review, and I am thrilled to get a chance to walk you through a bag that I was shocked that I was able to get my hands on. Now, it's a special edition bag, but don't worry. You can buy this bag in non-special editions, and it is totally in stock. So if you dig the bag, it is available. Just maybe not this, this version. So, what are we talking about? You guys who have been with the channel for a while have seen me post pictures of this in community posts. This is the Bravo Foxtrot Block 4, and it's from a Bravo company worldwide. I'll link everything, as always, in the video description. This is in the uh, Multicam Alpine colorway, but it's also a collaboration. You can see all the red on here and all the details. You can maybe see where it says, G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, right? Um, this is the Storm Shadow edition of this backpack, and it is a collaboration with Super 7 for the Japanese market, which is kind of, uh, Super 7 is a, I think they're out of San Francisco, but they're a collectibles and action figure studio. Um, super cool. Um, and I actually bought this off their website. They only had a few, um, rather than the, the Japanese version, which I believe just went overseas. So, wow. Look at this thing. It is drop dead gorgeous. Now I've had my eye on this bag for a while. They've got a blue version of the Block 2. They've got this Multicam Alpine version of the Block 4, Multicam Black, a couple of other really cool colorways um, available on their website. I've had my eye on it for a while and when they came out with this, I just had to buy it. So I'm excited to walk through this bag with you. You know what we do on this channel. We do a full walkthrough of the outside of the bag, all the uh, details and all the features. We're gonna look inside the bag at all the nooks and crannies and pockets. And then at the end, we're gonna do two things that we really like about this bag. Two things, not so much. And then an overall recommendation for you. Should you buy the Bravo Company Worldwide Foxtrot Block 4 Multicam Alpine? That's a lot of words. That's a lot of words. Bravo, that's a lot of words. All right, Storm Shadow Edition. <laughs> All right, let's dive into this sucker. All right, outside we've got a couple of uh, really obvious features right off the bat, right? You've got the, the Moly panels, um, three of them, so it's three times six across the front. I've tossed some pins in there, flashlights, you could attach a patch or excuse me, a pack on there, no problem at all. You've got a very small, um, uh, hook and loop panel here for morale patches. Pretty cool. Um, you've got some uh, not so subtle branding. Um, now on the uh, non Storm Shadow GI Joe edition of this bag, the branding looks a little bit uh, less in your face. Um, so do know that. You have a little Cordura label up here. Um, all on this bag, the zippers are kind of done with this red paracord detail. I really dig that two really cool handles on the front of the bag. Not sure what Bravo calls them, I call them chucking handles, cause you can just grab this bag and chuck it, okay? Um, so really nice to have those handles in addition to a handle on the top. So you've got your traditional grab handle on the top, but this handle in particular, I love. I wish more bags would just like toss more handles on there. So we can grip up this bag from every different angle. All right, so we'll talk pockets in a second, I promise. Um, you have some um, compression straps slash attachment points on the bottom of the bag. On the back side of this bag, and I've got my sternum strap caught in my desk drawer, so that's awesome. Um, you've got uh, two really comfortable straps and uh, some padded sections back here with a little bit of an airflow channel in between. You can tighten up the straps via these mechanisms up top. So a lot of adjustability in the harness. No pocket on this side. This is not a pocket. This is a pull tab to make it easier to open and close the zipper. Water bottle pocket on this side. All right, so let's dive in to the pockets on this bag. First off, you've got a front pocket that is a drop pocket. There is no interior storage in this pocket. I have elected to put a power bank and my most used cords in that pocket. Extremely usable. 
um, and right up front. Zipper garage on both sides. All right, no pocket right here, but pocket right here. So you've got kind of side entry to the secondary pocket and it runs across the whole length of the bag. I've used that for some knickknacks, mask, multi-tool, bandages, kind of a first aid kit section of the bag for me. Okay, enter from the side. All right, then up top, you have a little sunglasses pocket. I've got, of course, blue light blocking glasses and my AirPods up there. It is not a big bag, not a big pocket. Um, and it's not felt lined or anything like that. It's just nylon lined like the rest of the pockets in the bag. So, um, you know, you, you may want to put your sunglasses in there. Uh, I think you'd probably, if it was me, put your sunglasses in this pocket on the side here in a case. Um, Cause this pocket up top is not big enough for sunglasses in a case. All right, then you have the main compartment. We'll open this up. It zips all the way down about three quarters of the way. You have a hook and loop panel across the back for more morale patches or attaching a hook and loop uh, bag into this. You have two pockets that are elasticized here. When I first was looking at this bag, I thought this was kind of um, 511 or go ruck style. I thought this was a do it yourself laptop compartment that you could kind of make hydration or make a laptop or whatever. It's not, it's two pockets and they only drop down to about here, playing card sized over here and uh, two decks of cards or a can of Coke over here. Okay, I've tossed some extra cords in there. Down in this section right now, I've got an electronics organizer. By the way, if you like any of the organizers and stuff that you see me use, I've got some videos up that kind of walk through what I use and why I use it. I've got my gimbal in there and I've got my AirPods Pro Max in there and then just a, a headband. So pretty roomy main compartment of this bag. It's about a, I think it's a 22 liter bag. Um, but the, the size on it, honestly, is uh, really deceptive because you can get a lot of stuff into this bag, okay? So two things I wanted to show you. It's going to be really hard to show you this, okay? The first thing is you've got a drop pocket right here on the front, okay? And then you can also, from this section up here, and it's hard to show you, this whole entire pocket can be kind of a pass-through pocket um, to the bottom of the bag, so you can put a longer item in there. So, interesting, not particularly useful for my use case. But, inside this main compartment, so you know, you have a drop pocket on the front or a slip pocket, you've got two elasticized pockets here, and then the main compartment, and some hook and loop. All right, let's talk laptops. The tech pocket. Interesting choices made here by Bravo. You can see no zipper on this side, zipper on this side. So it's a three quarter zip around the bag here. And you can fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro. It's really well cushioned. I've just got my iPad in there right now, but it's a really well cushioned, uh, beautiful laptop compartment that is easily accessible. I kind of like the choice they made with the zipper over there. It's not a full clamshell, um, but I don't think it needs to be. This isn't a huge travel backpack. You're not going to be taking this through the, through the TSA. So form factor on this bag is interesting. You can see the bottom is not flat, so you're not going to be setting this down. Well, once it's full, this grab handle at the bottom is not a, is not a kickstand. It's not going to keep the bag up. Um, oh, I forgot to show you, there's one other pocket on this bag. The pocket that I frequently forget in doing reviews. Check out back here. You've actually got a really big back pocket here. I've tossed a pocket wipe in there, um, but it runs, and I tossed a cord in there too, um, earlier. Uh, but it runs the whole length of the bag here, and it has also a key carabiner in it. So you can toss your keys back in there. You can toss a passport, 
um, whatever. It's super cushioned too, which I really enjoy. Um, which means that whatever you put back there, usually I don't put like a pocket knife in this kind of compartment because it'll poke you in the back all day long. Never felt it. So really nice pocket on the back of this bag. Okay, so what is going on with this bag? Do we love it? Two things we really like about this bag, okay? The first thing we really like about this bag is, um, and I'm not gonna say the colorway. I'm not, I promise even though I love the colorway. It's totally badass. First thing we really like about this bag, really like these handles. I know that that may seem like a small thing, but I can tell you that when I toss this bag on the floor, in my chair over here, in my truck, just grabbing it out, pitching it, I love these handles, love having them and they're really well built, um, feels quality, and it gives the bag a cool look too, and really nice utility. So, love those handles. Second thing I love about this bag is the usability of the pockets on the front section of this bag. This drop pocket down here in the front, incredibly, insanely useful. The right size, the right depth, I can get all kinds of cords in there really easily. This secondary pocket that runs the whole length of the bag from this side, um, really insanely useful too. Um, easy to get into, well lined, very useful pocket. Love those two pockets. Love having the attachment points on the front of the bag. So the whole front of the bag, the handles, the pockets, the attachment point, I'm in love with. Love it, great design. Let's talk two things that I didn't love as much, okay? The first one is, I feel like we missed an opportunity here, Bravo, with this sunglasses pocket. It's just a little too small, and it's not lined or protected in any way. So if I were building out this bag, I would look at the contrasting color, put some felt in there, something really soft, and run it a little bit bigger, just a, just a little. I know you're limited by the shape of the bag a little bit, but. I'd try and make it a little bit bigger or a little bit deeper, maybe run it to the bottom row of this row of mole. Um, but it's a useful pocket. It's placed really in a nice place. It's just a little bit smaller than I would prefer, and I would love to have um, felt lined up there. The second thing that I don't like about this bag is this is a really terrible water bottle holder. I So this is just a normal smaller size bottle from Hydro Flask. You guys have all seen this size. It's not too much larger than a 20 ounce soda. Look at this. It, it's just, it's just kind of comically small. It only runs to this hemline right here and it should run all the way down here so that you could get almost anything into it. It's, I guess it's for a can of soda or a Campbell's soup um, or a couple of clip bars. I, I found myself just not using it at all. It's not even big enough for me to toss a, a battery into. Yeah, I disappointed with the water bottle holder. So if a water bottle holder is a big deal to you, I mean, it would have even been better if if you weren't gonna do a fully functional water bottle holder here, just make it a zipped pocket and I can toss cliff bars and crap in there. But now it's open and so it just really limits what I can do with it. I don't know, maybe I'll mod it out. Maybe I'll look to add a zipper on the side here and sew the top to the bag and make it into a pocket myself if I'm feeling brave. Uh, so, all right, that's the bag. Those are two things we love about it. Two things that we um, think could have been done a little bit better with the bag. Um, should you buy it? Well, I don't know if you'll be able to get your hands on this particular edition. If you're a bag collector like me, you might geek out on this kind of unique colorway. Um, but the overall um, Foxtrot from Bravo in a couple of different colorways, I think is a really good purchase. It runs about 170 bucks, and I really particularly like the uh, blue and green and black colorway. Um, check that one out. Check out the Multicam Black as well. I think you'll really get a kick out of the colorways, and it's a really nice bag. It's insanely comfortable. The laptop sleeve is good. It's the right size for EDC. 
Yeah, it's a great bag. If you like the look of it, you're not going to be disappointed rocking this as your EDC backpack. All right, everybody, that's it for now. I hope you really enjoyed the review. Let me know what you think of this bag. Let me know which colorway from Bravo Company is your favorite of all the different colorways they carry this bag in. It's their best seller. It's a dang good bag. All right, everybody, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.